Continuing with the whole brain living concepts, the right side of the brain is generally considered the creative side, but it's far more than just that. The lower number three portion of our brain is like a child. It just wants to go out and play and have fun. Its only concern is feeling good in the moment. It's not concerned with time. It doesn't plan for the future. It doesn't dwell on the past. It likes to laugh, sing, play, listen to music, daydream, engage in creative activities, and act silly. It just wants to chill. It enjoys hanging out and being mellow. It's a feeling center in our brain, not a speech center. So for our purposes, we can consider it as the source of good feelings. So since higher, faster vibrations feel good to us, it's important that our number three brain be active most of the time. You want to use the energy from number three to empower the number four part of your brain. Ask yourself how much of your day do you spend worrying versus feeling good. So knowing that our number one brain is our ego, it hates to give up processing time to the number three brain and its activities that it considers unproductive. The number one brain needs to be reminded and soothed and told that it is a highly valued and it needs to stand down and let other parts of the brain have their turn to do their own thing. Tell it to stand by, and it'll be called upon as needed. Give yourself permission to have fun. The upper number four brain is a speech center, and it sees wholeness. It plans for the future. It understands consequences of behaviors. It's concerned with interconnectedness of all things. It does not focus on details but rather sees a universal big picture viewpoint of everything. It sees the oneness in everything and our place in all that is. Our number four brain is nothing less than a portal to higher, faster energies that is greater than us. Let me repeat that. Our number four brain is a portal where we can connect with higher, faster energies and energy beings, no matter what you may call them. Since it is a speech center, affirmations are an excellent way to communicate with number four. Create several that you have a strong connection about and make you feel good. You can say them over and over to yourself all day as a mantra. You can see some of the ones that I use down below and Louise Hay is an excellent source for finding affirmations. It's not the words or thoughts that matter. It's the feelings that are associated with them. The highest use of language is to communicate words that trigger positive emotions and thus higher vibrations. Since our number one and number two brains are usually hogging all of our attention and processing power, because this slow energy world that we live in is constantly in our face most of the time, we need to actively work to feed our number three and our number four brain into action. Actively feed them as much as you can each day. This takes work, but it gets easier the more you do it. You need tools and strategies for turning on number three and number four and keeping them active so you don't backslide into the slower vibrations coming from your number and our number one and number two brain. Let me repeat that. You have to actively feed number three and four as much as possible. We'll discuss specific strategies for doing just that next. I welcome any positive comments or suggestions or discussions below. A subscribe and thumbs up are always appreciated. Stay tuned. We have a lot more to talk about.